These are members of one of the most notorious armed vigilante groups in the U.S. Operating in New Mexico, they try to apprehend people crossing the border and hand them over to U.S. Border Patrol. The United Constitutional Patriots were accused of pointing assault rifles at people. Their leader was arrested for alleged unlawful possession of firearms and ammunition. So now they have a new name, the Guardian Patriots. Their spokesman, Jim Benvey, says they are a harmless citizens' defense group. But their aim is the same, to stop migrants at the border. Jim Benvey says he goes out on patrol to save his country, to save it from illegal immigrants and what he considers dangerous people coming into the U.S. from Mexico. Every day he meets other members of the Guardian Patriots. They meet in the desert not far from El Paso. The militia has been described in the U.S. media as being close to the far right, but the members deny this. Nevertheless, many of them do not want to show their faces. It's heavy. I okay. try to move it. And, and Ghost is going to meet up with you later over there? Yeah, he's supposed to contact me when he's coming in. Okay, perfect. Awesome. This is carte blanche. This is an open border, and with Border Patrol being strained, it's an unprotected border. So we need to be here. We need to back up the Border Patrol. They need our help. They need more Americans' help. There's a border fence here at Sunland Park in New Mexico. The five and a half meter high structure was erected two years ago. It's not as if anyone can climb it, but Jim Benvey says the problem is that it is finite. Right here, we've got lots of wall all the way down. And right here, sadly, is where the wall ends. And as a result of that, I can literally cross in and out of Mexico with absolutely no problem. And so there's nothing here to stop anybody. If I want to come in with drugs, if I want to come in with kids or human traffic or sex traffic, it's wide open right here. The U.S. Border Patrol does not patrol here very often. So the spot draws more people attempting to cross. We got crossers right behind you, right behind you. A group of young people suddenly appears and is able to cross into the U.S. unhampered. Can't make it up. Well, right now we're watching them. Um, we can't detain them. We can try to get them to stop, but he's going to... Chen, do you want to try to get them to stop? Border Patrol's right there. Oh, he's calling Border Patrol, so... Border Patrol is only... How do you we have eyes on them. I just called Border Patrol right now, telling them that they're heading down to the park. So, they're already saying they're dispatching a unit right now. If the Guardian Patriots were to use their weapon to detain the migrants, they could be accused of kidnapping. They listen to you. They're not happy about this. <laughs> Was about 10 of them? Mm-hmm. It's very frustrating, to be honest with you. you see to, sit and, to sit and watch this and know that, that, that if we do anything to try to stop this, that we're the bad guys and 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 we have to watch this. Now they're going up over the tracks, so now they're going to make it more difficult for Border Patrol. Take a look. So Chin, why don't you go down there and keep an eye on them until Border Patrol gets there? The next day, they go out on patrol again. Chin thinks he's seen a human trafficker, so he's raised the alarm. There are 30 active members in the militia. Many of them are U.S. Army veterans. They support U.S. President Donald Trump's immigration policies and his campaign to build a wall. All right, cool. False alarm. It's going to take strong action. It's going to take a lot of angry Americans. But the only way Americans are going to get angry is if they see the truth. So us group of Americans made up of all different backgrounds, we call ourselves patriots, guardian patriots. We're down here fighting to document the crisis on the border. Okay. But the group has run into legal problems. They're accused of detaining migrants at gunpoint. This video shows a group of young men taken into custody. Hey guys, it's Jim, United States Constitutional Patriots. We are just, we're just getting ready for shift and these guys came in, they came into Camp Liberty. 
where we're at, and so we've uh, we got them. The Guardian Patriots acquired a dubious notoriety across the country as the United Constitutional Patriots. The leader, Larry Hopkins, a convicted felon, was arrested and accused of unlawful possession of firearms. Javier Perea is the mayor of Sunland Park. He feels powerless because the law in New Mexico allows people to carry arms openly. If they're pointing a gun at somebody, then that, that can be considered an assault or uh, or if they are detaining individuals illegally, uh, then that, that could be a violation of, of the, that individual's constitutional rights. Uh, so, I mean, unless we see that actually happening, uh, it's, it's, um, we can't take much action. We just left the monument. And, uh, Though there is little concrete proof that the militia is no, acting no, illegally, no, no, there are many no, accusations. When we had an incident about an individual saying that, why, why don't we line them up and shoot him? Uh, this is an allegation at this point. We can't prove any of that, but I don't know what the mental condition of those individuals are. Whereas we have law enforcement individuals who have background checks, who know how to handle the situations like this. Jim Benvy sees himself as the victim of biased media and liberal politicians. He says that the Guardian Patriots are volunteers who adhere to the law and help the authorities. We're not enforcing the law. We're helping them observe illegal activity. We're reporting the illegal activity. And if we're able to, we're asking people to stop and sit down. And that's what the Border Patrol needs right now. That's what they want. Um, we're not arresting people. We are not involved in the law enforcement process. And that's a lie that's out there from the media. And that's all I can say about it. Many of President Trump's supporters use the same argument against those who contradict their worldview. They denounce reports and facts as lies and fake news. Looking rougher and tougher than we ever did. The American people have just as much of a right to carry a gun out here because when that Border Patrol guy came up and talked to us when we first got here, right sitting next to him was the same rifle that I've got. Exactly. So why is it okay for them to carry and me not to carry? Well, you know what? We, we still carry them in our trucks, but for, yeah. the, for the sake of uh, allowing the, um, the fake news media to yeah. continue their narrative. Um, I just don't care. We're not, we're not giving them the op thinks. we're not giving them the optics. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, are they coming? Yeah. All right, we got them. Okay, so stay here. At night, okay. the Guardian Patriots lie in wait on the border. As soon as a group of migrants touches U.S. soil, they strike. Hey, you guys speak English? Anybody speak English? Most people here are from Honduras. They're exhausted. They haven't eaten or drunk anything for hours. There's poverty and crime. That's why we left. How long have you been gone? <laughs> One month. <laughs> what were the last hours like? <laughs> Terrible. We're hungry. We're cold. We're scared. Some people is try to escape by crossing the Rio Grande. Chin himself is the son of undocumented immigrants from Mexico, but he doesn't sympathize with people trying to get here today. Back in the day, you had to pay for your education, you had to take a test, you had to speak English, you had to know the presidents. And you know, yeah, it's hard, but that's the legal way to do it. When they just do it illegal this way, it costs the taxpayer money more. I mean, me, every American has to pay more for someone who wants to come in for free and get free everything. I mean, I never get nothing free. The members of the militia seem to have a confused idea about what's fair and right. In the end, the U.S. Border Patrol takes over. The migrants will now be taken to register.
another alarm. Apparently there's a human trafficker close by. A U.S. Border Patrol helicopter tries to find him from the air. With help from the militia members on the ground. Despite all the official denials, the Border Patrol and the militia are working hand in hand here. It took quite a few of us to actually get the group contained. Uh, we didn't touch anybody, as you saw. It was all verbal commands, but we were able to, before the Border Patrol actually got here, we were able to, you know, get everything handled through a team effort. Human rights activists such as Fernando Garcia accuse the militias of imagining dangers that do not exist in actual fact and of stoking fear. What is the national security crisis? I mean, people is just children, mothers, uh, abuelitas, grandmothers. They are just turning themselves to border patrol because they are looking for help. So in that context, why do we need civi uh, armed civilians? What do we need the militia? Why do we, I mean, they are not needed. I mean, they're just making things more complicated. But for Jim Benvy, the fact that 100,000 people arrived in the U.S. without papers in April alone is a problem. He is outraged. He talks about this on Facebook Live and has thousands of followers listening to him. But again, for those of you that are new to my videos, um, basically what's happening here, guys, is a non-violent invasion of the United States. Um, People are coming through our border. They know that all they have to do is claim asylum. A day like any other on the border near Sunland Park in New Mexico. Jim Benvy and the Guardian Patriots say that they will continue patrolling the border until the wall is finished. I don't think we caught the guy in the white t-shirt. He's still back over there. He's a coyote.